What is up, you magnificent sons of bitches? It's your boy, Country Biscuit, a.k.a. Reverend Conflict. I know it's been like a week. You probably missed my face. You were like, damn, I hope that dude isn't dead at a Goodwill somewhere or in a dumpster and got smushed. Nope, still alive. Can't kill what's already dead. You know what I'm saying. Anyway, just been busy, man. Last last week of the month is hella hectic for me. You know, got to finish all my pest control customers. Got to get orders out. Uh, I have a baby girl due in like three weeks, which is stressing me the fuck out. But, uh, you know, L-I-V-I-N, got to keep on living. Uh, today, I'm just going to do a quick little uh, thrift haul. I found two new secret spots. Uh, probably not a secret, but they're, they're new to me. I didn't know they existed, and I, I stumbled upon them. And I found some just type shit. So uh, next time you see me, I'm gonna be in the uh, in the lab, in the office, in the fucking sweat box, in the warehouse, whatever the one you call it. Hopefully, there's no weed whackers, tree trimmers, dogs barking, laundry detergent going, any kind of that crazy shit. But I'm sure there will be because that's how we roll here at Country Biscuit Studios. So without further ado, let's get it. All right, we are back in the lab, the sweat box. As you can see, already working on the thumbnail for this video. Damn, am I ahead of myself? Never, always behind. Anyway, check out real quick spin move. The awesome weather we got going on here. It was just hailing. Well, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it, but I'll try and zoom in. It is hailing. Which is always great when you have a car that's not covered. So, shout out to Mother Nature, you son of a bitch, for uh, potentially dinging up the fuck out of my car. So let's get into it. Just like the title says, I found $400 golf shoes at the thrift store. What the fuck? So, I'm going to show you those last. But first off, I went to two new spots. New to me, not new to the city. Um, and was just blown away at the stuff that I found. Uh, they literally had more stuff than I had funds for, which almost never happens, but also it was a full day of pest control, so I literally had very small windows to get in there and thrift, so I just went for the heat. I went for what I knew, and I uh, didn't really have time to uh, go through every aisle, because usually I touch every T-shirt, every polo, I look at shoes, every fucking pair, I score the electronics section, uh, but this time it was really quick, in, out, and uh, made mental notes to go back to these places. So, let's get into it. First thing I'm going to show you is, we'll start with the clothes because I got uh, just a couple things. So, I found vintage Mighty Ducks hat. I mean, this thing is sick. It's embroidered Mighty, Mighty Ducks, NHL. I mean, this bad boy, uh, well, this bad boy is already sold. So, thank you. So there's one thing out of the way. Anyway, I sold that. Uh, I posted it on my Instagram story that I found it. Somebody hit me up and uh, already sold it. So in the green, you know what I mean? Vintage San Antonio Spurs, our neighbors to the, what is that? Southwest-ish. Um, and then I got this, uh, this vintage NASA dad hat as well so three hats hats usually do well especially when they're those weird little uh, vintage style I got two t-shirts one of them is just a, I mean when I saw it I was like damn if I didn't look like the kool-aid man I would keep this shit oh yeah old school polo Ralph Lauren fucking huge got the tag old tag the second one even cooler Single stitch, single stitch, dun, 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 dun. double RL Ralph Lauren t-shirt. For you guys that don't know, this is what the tag looks like. Double RL, made in the USA, Ralph Lauren. Don't mind my nails, they're dirty as shit because I'm working in the garage. So three hats, two shirts. Next up. Masters 2017 golf teddy bear. Believe it or not, these things sell for like 25 bucks. I paid 69 cents. Boom! As soon as I saw the little gold uh, USA, it was in the cart. 
no question. All right, so I got two electronics. One was a no-brainer. I sell these regularly for like 100 bucks. Let's see if you guys can see that little price there. Oh my goodness, $2.99. Are you out of your mind? Whammy is intact. Again, guys, when I buy these, I don't have an Xbox 360. Uh, I literally just make sure this goes up and down because this is the most common thing that breaks because it's just a little piece of packed plastic that causes that action on the whammy. And then I make sure we got good up and down on there. Bunk, none of the button stick. Boom, that's it. Clean it, take the sticker. Sticker, I don't take these stickers off. I just take the price tag off and this fucking thing saying that they sold it to me as is. Prep it, send it into Amazon. Are you gonna get returns? Yeah, occasionally, but I don't get enough to justify me buying the machines to, to test them. So, And this is wired, so I don't have to worry about dongles, which I send them in without dongles anyway. But I know some of you weirdos are always like, you can't send them in without the dongle. But, uh, you know, I like make money and you like looking for dongles. So I guess to each their own. Next up, we got the Emerson EWD2203 combo player. Got a tape in it and it's got a DVD in it because I checked it in the store. And forgot to take them both out so I got new uh, movies to watch when I'm testing these so what I do for these is I'll hook them up onto a TV I'll watch about five minutes of uh, VHS rewind fast forward eject and then I'll watch about five minutes of a DVD to make sure that it skips forward and uh, mainly that the tray ejects and then I will take the stickers off clean it prep it and send it into Amazon without the remote because it is not necessary. I just put it in the condition notes, no remote. And this bad boy sells for about $75. All right, so we got the clothes, we got the hats, and we got the electronics out of the way. The rest of this video is going to be shoes with the piece de la resistance being um, the $400 golf shoes. So, dogs are barking, always a classic. Let's get into it, we have the Thunder roll and lightning strike. Sometimes you just gotta sing Garth Brooks. All white Nike Air CB94s. CB stands for Charles Barkley. So I usually don't get all white shoes. Thank you. But these were $5.99, and all I gotta do is swap out the laces, and they're pretty clean. These will go pretty quickly, hopefully. Next up. Adidas Boost. I paid seven dollars for these. These sell for between 60 and 80. I'm gonna try and clean them up real well. Um, the hard part about these shoes is they're the same size as my girl wears and she was already eyeballing them. And This is why, again, I do not really mess with women's shoes because she will come out into this garage and if it is her size, she will snatch it. It's like taking profit right out of my pocket. But I digress. Next up on the list are these Cole Haan Grand Dot OS. These are the, they're really weird because they're suede, but they're like Nike free run, like flexi shoes. I paid up for these. I paid $14.99, but they sell between like $60, $65. So I'm cool with that and they're in amazing condition. I got another pair similar to that and I already got them in my shoe stretcher because I'm trying to just make them look better. Plus I got a suede uh, uh, tool, I don't know what the fuck it's called, to, to clean the suede so I'm going to do that on these. These are actually Johnston and Murphy Flex Systems. Johnson and Murphy Flex Systems. I paid $9 for these. They didn't have these in it, but this is just to keep the, the toe nice and pretty. Um, same style, the suede with the, with the Flex. And these sell for uh, around 45, 50 bucks. So, these I've sold before, so I just grabbed them. They were $7. They're Ralph Lauren, women's Lauren Ralph Lauren. They're called Carly's, I think. They're just some leather uh, flats uh, that you'd see uh, women over the age of 40 wear, but 
you know, I don't care how old you are if you want to buy them. They sell between 35 and 40 bucks, and I sell them, uh, I've sold two pairs, so I always snag these if I can get them cheap. Sometimes that name, they raise the price, but this time they didn't. And uh, the last pair of shoes before the grand finale is I got these awesome neon green and gray Nike Air Max. They are size 12 and they go for about 70 to $80 on GOAT. If you don't use GOAT, you don't have to sell on GOAT. I like to source uh, pricing on GOAT instead of eBay for, for like sneakerhead stuff just because if they're selling used on GOAT or StockX for 70 to $80, then I know on eBay it might be a little bit less, but that gives me a good, uh, good indicator if it's, a, if it's a buy or not, because not all Air Maxes sell for that amount of money, but these sell pretty good, and I paid $8.99 for them. So, that is, I mean, that alone is awesome. What is that, one, two, three, four, five, five? Five pair of shoes, a combo player, a guitar, two vintage shirts, and three hats, one of which is already sold. So you can imagine two stores, and I was there about an hour total between both of them because it was in between jobs. And we're looking at over $400 probably um, in return. And then there's these. So in 2013, Tiger Woods was with Nike and they came out with these limited edition Aww. Masters golf shoe. Now these bad boys are very rare. They sell for $395 is the new inbox price on eBay right now and you can't find them anywhere in store or anything like that. These are completely very rare in the golf uh, golf shoe. Tiger Woods Masters colors, the, the green and yellow. And there are no current used listings on any shoe site that I have checked out. What does that mean? That means I get to determine the value. So they are very rare, so there is a good demand. There are seven or eight watchers on the $395 ones on eBay with no use. That means if I clean these up, which as you can see, they're already in really great condition. I just gotta clean the, the dirt out of the bottom. Once I clean these up, I can list them for probably 250 or 300 and I'll probably get some offers. If not, somebody just buy them because you can't find them. They're 10 and a half, which is an awesome size. And as you can see on the tag, 18 bucks. I'm sure that looks like 81 or something like that, but $18. I paid up for these because when I typed in the code and it pulled up as these rare shoes, your boy almost fell out like a fat black woman in church. Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? That is what I call a score. So between the ZZ Top shirt that I got in my past video and those Tiger Woods, there is nothing that you can't find in a thrift store. It just amazes me what people get rid of, throw away, or don't even know they have that has this value. So, um, like, share, subscribe. Keep commenting on what you're finding. I got friends sending me messages talking about I made $900 this month because of your videos, because you kicked me in the ass and got me reselling. I made $600 this month. I love it. It's easy, guys. Everybody likes money. We need the shit. That's, I mean, plain and simple. You gotta have money to do shit, and uh, this is a great way to bring in money. You don't even have to do this uh, full time. Um, these guys that are messaging me, they're doing it, uh, they're doing it part time. I love it. I love seeing people that are making something happen. Captain. Anyway, that's where I'm at. Deuce. Hallelujah. You gotta give till it hurts.